Hey, Popcorn Junkies. The trailer, Ninad, thank you for letting me know. The trailer for John Wick Chapter 4, or the final trailer, has landed tonight. I am a self-professed John Wick virgin, insofar as I've never done it with John Wick. And um, Ninad, I know you're saying I must watch John Wick 3. I presume I need to go and watch John Wick 2, John Wick 1. You can see I, I can count backwards. Uh, but John Wick 4, I have to say, I watched the um, previous trailers and there's something about the way it's done that is really captivating. It's very slick, it's incredibly neon, it's very sort of film noir. Uh, and yet at the heart of it, there's kind of a sense of humour, which I think was slightly absent from The Matrix. I mean, part of that, I don't know how, how much of that is intentional, because of course at the heart of this is Keanu Reeves. Who doesn't like Keanu Reeves? I mean, he's, he's, he's the nicest man in Hollywood probably because he doesn't really hang out in Hollywood that much. Renowned for giving up his seat on New York subways, renowned also for just being a generally good chap. And of course, he's gone through an awful lot of trauma in his life. So obviously Keanu Reeves is John Wick. These are films that are high on stunts, high on action, lots of sort of weaponry, bullets, lots of kind of effects, all that kind of stuff. And yet what has made me fascinated them. I mean, and the only reason I haven't watched them, Nina, is because I haven't had the time uh, recently to just, just sit down and, and indulge. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of going back um, in, in franchise. I want to sort of jump on the bike at the point that it's at. And this might be an opportunity for that, because also in there is Bill Skarsgård. <laughs> what a remarkable actor he is. Brilliant in the most recent horror film, Barbarian. And of course, Ian McShane is in there. One of my absolute guilty pleasures uh, as a British actress. So without further ado, Donnie Yen is in there too, obviously. Um, and without further ado, I think we should check out the last and final trailer for John Wick chapter four. I wonder if there'll be a chapter four. I mean, also, I think each film's box office has increased incrementally with each release. So this is a franchise that seems to do more business and do better, which presumably means it's going to carry on. Uh, we could be a Fast and Furious, Fast X situation quite quickly. This hit goes out to you, Mr. Wick. Woke up this morning. 42 regular, wasn't it? Yeah. And so it begins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Living in this time behind enemy lines, so I got mine, I hope you're Challenging to single combat. If you win, you will have your freedom. And when I see you, I'm gonna take what I want, so... Amen. The only way John Wick will ever have freedom and peace is in death. Yeah, not really. Even though I'm a John Wick virgin, I know that there was something about his dog being killed in one of the first films. So this, is this a replacement dog? Is this his new buddy? I've never seen a trailer or a film in which a dog does a stunt jumping onto the tops of cars in moving traffic. I also, I, there, there's some things there. One of my things about fight scenes is they're never inventive enough, they're never creative enough, they're all just the same old shit. Watch Ant-Man where, uh, despite all of Kang's technology and all of his powers, he ends up having a fist fight with Ant-Man at the end. Very bizarre. So here's the thing. The stunts look good. It's beautifully shot. It's brilliantly shot. The, the grade on it, the, the, the colour palette is so rich. It's not just neon, but there's a sort of red glowy kind of primary coloured, but darkened and rich sort of slickness to the colour and the camera work. The bullets, the guns and everything that's going on there look real. So although it's ludicrously not real, you're believing it and it and it's slick. It's just so slickly done. 
Um, the interiors are fantastic. They're, they're, you know, every one of them really well conceived, you know, going upstairs with lights down the side, rain in a nightclub where they're all dancing, that's all brilliant. And that thing at the end there, when he says, yeah, it's really good. I love Keanu Reeves when he makes no effort to act because that's his kind of acting, is not acting. And I think that's great acting. Um, suddenly we find ourselves in the Wadi Rum in Jordan. I guess if you can film there, you do film there, so it's kind of odd to see him on a horse. Um, but one, what they did at, that, at the end there, I think shot in Paris, he uses cars as weaponry to deal with the guys that he's throwing around. So he takes advantage of a passing car to knock someone out or chuck someone over or hit someone and all that kind of stuff. I think that looks really, it looks energetic, it looks really good. It looks fun, it looks vibrant, it looks sort of seat of your pantsy kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to have to go and see that, and then I'm going to have to try and watch them backwards. Or do you think that I can just watch John Wick 3 and then move forward? Can I do that? Do I need to know the back, full backstory of the dog? 